Greg here from Sticky Wicked Designs. Just going to take a look at doing some editing within tables using Tiny MCE for CMSMS. Uh, I know that's a mouthful. mouthful. Uh, that's CMS Made Simple using the Tiny MCE WYSIWYG editor uh, to edit uh, content that has tables in it. So how to try, try and get around things without uh, making too much of a mess in the process. I'm using a live example here of a client site um, using a temporary username and password, of course, so you can't um, grab onto that stuff and try and hack away. So the section that we're looking at, or the page that we're looking at on this particular site, uh, we are using tables to give us a grid layout for staff profiles. So this is on our staff or overview page for these guys. We'll just take a look. So you can see the general idea. We see the outline of the table that's here, um, and we see some stuff that we've got to get rid of. Um, now in this particular case, we've got some people that have uh, moved on, so we need to remove them, and we need to move others into their place. So first thing I'm going to try is just highlighting just that person's name and their photo. I don't want to highlight the whole cell. I just want this chunk of information. And then I'm just going to hit the delete key on my keyboard. I'm going to come down, look at the next one that I want to move up. I'm going to use the um, command X key or alt X depending on whether you're Windows or Mac. I'll come back here, place my cursor in the middle, use control V. And sorry, that should have been Control X for Mac users. Uh, I'll do the same. I'm just going to move everybody around. So Control X or Command X. Now we see it's changed that entire row. Paste them over there. Control X, Command X, paste them. Cut paste. Oops, I lost something on that one. Actually, I'm losing something on a few of them, so I'll go back and do a cleanup on those items. Because um, I noticed the border is gone on some of the images. So, um, Cut, paste, that, cut, paste, Keone, cut, paste. Okay, so I'm going to start with Keone, um, who uh, we just see that on some of the images that we didn't touch at all, we have borders on them. And I'm just going to demonstrate where we're grabbing that from, but I'm not going into a CSS tutorial on how we've achieved that within uh, other stuff. So when I'm highlighting on that image, it's already showing that the link was retained that was there. So I'm just going to click on the insert edit image button, click on the appearance tab, and what I need to do is add a class to it. Once I click on class border and say update, boom, it'll bring it back for me. So I'm just going to do that for each of these images. That is currently not showing the border. You can also see that we have an image description, basically our alt tag and a title. You can put in both, um, good for search engine stuff, um, but it's uh, not a requirement. Definitely recommended though. Update J. Class border. And just for clarification, um, for me, I'm on a Mac and I'm using Firefox for this particular example. So things may react a little bit differently within um, uh, Internet Explorer, um, but I can't really test that um, in this setup. So there you go. Okay, so there, we've got those ones in. If I wanted to insert another row, 
that's delete row. This is add row after. This is add row before, or insert row before. Um, but I actually have somebody else that I need to add in here. So I'm going to look for their image, but I may have problems finding it. Depends on whether they put them in the uh, the place that I put them in when I was looking or setting it up. Um, I'll just scroll down. I know his name is Zach, so there's Zach Thumb. Oh, there we go. Now, personally, I um, I try to keep things uh, a little tighter in the organization, so I actually would have put staff pictures in the staff folder. It just helps keeps it cleaner for later and when, when when you're managing. As you can see, we've got a long list of images to get down and find them, whereas if it was in the staff folder, there would be fewer for us to sort through. So that's all for that one. I already got it. Zack Zack appearance. I'm going to make it border again. And then let's see what we did for these other things. So that already has a heading 2. I don't know what Zach's title is, so I'm just going to do a shift enter or return. Put his name all uppercase to match the other ones. And now I'm going to complete um, by adding a link from his image to his profile love this boom that did that I'm gonna link his name to his profile and hit apply so as it was saved successfully let's see if this gives me a nice preview showing that everything worked there he is. He showed up on the page. And let's make sure it actually links through to the proper profile. And there's his profile. Okay, so that's it for that demo. Hope that helps, and we will catch you next time.